Welcome back. Coming up in just a moment, they are one step closer to performing for Her Majesty the Queen, the Dancing Bears, <laughs> and Merlin, the escapologist from Britain's Got Talent, are here. There was uh, buzzing, bickering, and more balmy acts on Britain's Got Talent this weekend. I am a performing fractalist. I <laughs> yes, that, that is. is you, Merlin. <laughs> Joining us now are the fabulous Dream Bears, who showed they definitely can can, and the man hoping to be the modern day Houdini. He's fire eating escapologist Merlin Cadogan, and we <laughs> welcome you all. Let's start with you then, Merlin. Well, so Simon wanted dangerous, and he <laughs> jolly well got it. Thank you. Um, and uh, the, the, you, you kept saying, well, I could die, I could die. But the truth is, you did do this trick a, while, a long time ago and did nearly die. That's right, yes. I tried it. I, I thought of the idea about five years ago and I was practicing the trick uh, in the garden with some friends. And I had a snorkel, I was breathing through the snorkel because juggling the fire in with the water, the light refracts. So it's actually not quite straight. So you're not actually ah, so you're catching what you're with, catching, yes. Yeah. So I was practicing with the snorkel in to get used to the juggling underwater. And yeah. the snorkel, I dropped a fire club. The snorkel fell inside the helmet. And uh, then my friends were picking the fire club up and worried about the fire. Obviously, I was trying to breathe, but I couldn't breathe. And I managed to get the helmet off, but it was, uh, I was exhaling all my air trying to clear the snorkel. Mm. Yes. And of course, we saw you on uh, on the on the on the clip here on yeah. Saturday night um, at the at the end of it. I mean, this is that's you getting out of your chains, but uh, but but it looks like it really is very tight round your neck. That's right, Philip. It's it's watertight, so I mean, it's really hard to to release the seal on it. You know, really sometimes it can take a while. Yeah. Uh, my record breath holds actually four minutes twenty seconds, so uh, I'm getting quite good. That's but, amazing. Um, yeah, when you've got all the pressure on and the judges and the lights and everything, it, you know, it's wow. it's hard. Yeah, and to release it was really difficult that day. I was really struggling. So when do you get the phone call to get to take you through to the next stage? We find out um, on the 23rd of May if we've made it to the semi-final lot, which is actually my birthday. Oh, fingers <laughs> crossed. That would yeah. be a good present, wouldn't it? Yeah. You've got some oranges down there on the on the floor. We couldn't uh, we couldn't yeah, have I'll the juggling, juggling for you, fire yeah. today. Here we go. And safety. Bit of orange juggling. Uh, there you go. We've got flaming oranges. <laughs> That's fantastic. So what what trick are you going to do next, or what? Uh, well, I've got a few things up my sleeve. Um, have you? But uh, I'm not really allowed to say if no, I was to get through what I do, but I can assure you that they'd, they'd be dangerous. And uh, I've been working on a couple of things that are new, because one thing I really liked about Houdini, every time his competitors would catch up and come, come along sort of side parallel with him, mm. he'd invent a new trick and a new angle, so I've been trying to do the same and thing. And are you really called Merlin? That's that my real name, Philip. Yeah, my real name. Yes. And good. my daughter's called Tallulah. And her middle name is Abra, and our surname is Cadogan, so her name's Tallulah Abra Cadogan. So if she decides to get into magic, she's got oh, a head How old is she? She's four. Is she? Yeah. She's going to so love you when she gets to school. <laughs> That's fantastic. And I suppose doing your, uh, doing your, uh, your act, getting everything together, it must be expensive to make the things that you have My to do. My wife's brilliant. You know, she really helps me making all the props and things like that. She's really supportive, and um, you know, I ask her sort of for advice about the dangerous side of the mm. things. You know, she's, um, she's really good with that. But it, it does she, cost a lot. Was she your assistant? No, she didn't That's help me in the assistant. show, actually. That was just a friend of mine. No, that oh, was right. a friend who stepped in and uh, okay. she did a great job as well. You know, I trusted her with my life and she got me through. So. She did, yes. Yeah. So that, so this, this big trick is going to be something to do with holding your breath or... Uh, I'm not. I'm not, really, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not really allowed to say, but um, it will be dangerous. I can promise you. Oh, good. Well, as long as it's dangerous. <laughs>